Hi everyone, welcome back. Happy Friday. Um, I'm going to talk to you about something today that is probably going to confuse all of you and I apologize for that. Also, one thing I wanted to add, uh, yesterday in my video that I posted, um, I was chewing gum and I apologize for that distraction. When I was going to do the video, my mouth was so dry, I kept drinking water and it wasn't helping. I had taken some migraine medication and it dries my mouth out so bad that I wasn't even able to talk. My tongue was sticking to the roof of my mouth. And I knew that would be distracting. So I put a piece of gum in my mouth and I thought, okay, that'll help. And I was trying to keep it to the back so that you wouldn't see it, but it's virtually impossible when somebody's chewing gum not to see the gum. And somebody had pointed it out to me, and I knew somebody would, and I'm so sorry for that. It's not a habit that I like to do. I was just struggling. So that's why it was chewing gum yesterday. See, today, no gum. <laughs> so anyway, um, with that being said, I just, I apologize for the gum yesterday. Forgive me. Um, <laughs> let's move on to the um, video. Something was coming to mind to me that something that I had heard a long time ago and then when Gilberto was commenting to me in one of my posts talking about his phthalo green being warm and his sap green being cool <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry about that um, I wanted to do a little research on it because it has been very controversial for probably hundreds of years as to whether this is a warm color or cool color and which is warmer, ultramarine or uh, phthalo. And I told you that when I first started painting that I, I was very confused by blues. Um, I always thought that ultramarine looked cooler to me. It just had this real cool vibe to me like like water or something you know just just crystal cool water and the blue green didn't give me that same sort of vibe but I still say according to the color wheel which is going to confuse you that ultramarine is a warm color now older artists I don't mean older I mean People who have been artists their whole life and have gone to school in art have probably learned that phthalo blue is warmer than ultramarine. With this controversy comes a lot of confusion. And I was told that ultramarine blue is warm and phthalo is cool. A lot of people feel that phthalo is warm and ultramarine is cool. Now here is why. When you look at the color wheel, you remember the other day I showed you a split in the color wheel right here between yellow and yellow green and then splitting down here at the red violet and violet. Now when you look at the color wheel, let me turn it over this way, I think it'll be easier. No, I guess they're about the same. Um, when you look at the color wheel and you see your, some people will say the warmest color would be yellow, this warm yellow. Others say that the warmest color is somewhere in the orange-red area, which would make the coolest color somewhere in the blue area. Then others say the yellow is the warmest. Actually, this is a cool yellow, so it would be here, and which would make violet, the complementary color, the coolest. So when you're looking at the color wheel, at the blues, let me just turn this little wheel here. Um, when you're looking at the blues then, and you're going around the color wheel from yellow, um, you've got your warms and you're coming up to your cools. Here's your yellow, your greens, here you go, and then bam, somewhere in here is where phthalo blue would live, somewhere in the blue, blue-green range, correct? Then you keep going, you get down to here, and then you have your ultramarine blue, which is, on the wheel, cooler because many say that your violet, which is right here, there's blue violet and then violet, violet would be your coolest color with yellow being your warmest color. Some people don't agree with that. They say that orange is the coolest, warmest color and then blue is the coolest color. 
then others will say that red is and the greens are the coolest. So it's really hard to say, but the standard is the yellow versus the violet. That is the most standard. Now, the, where the confusion lies is that if you look at the color wheel and you, you go by the, what the color wheel says as you're coming around here um, from your yellow and you get down to where your phthalo blue would be, that would be a very cool color. But then your ultramarine is even cooler because it's closer to the violet which is the coolest color. But then others believe, which is how I was taught, that if you believe that yellow is your warmest and violet is your coolest, your ultramarine blue is then only a few steps away. Let's see, one, two, three, four steps away from warm. Whereas if you had your phthalo blue, which is not written on here, but it would fall probably somewhere around here, you would have one, two, three, four, five, six steps to warm. So if you only have four steps coming around, uh, coming around clockwise to the reds, then your ultramarine would be your warmest because it's only four steps away from warm, whereas your phthalo is about six steps away from warm. Five at least, but six, I would say. So that's how I learned. But others feel that when you reach the bottom of the color wheel, when you get to your violet, that you go back up and around. I don't get that. So that's why I say ultramarine is your warmest blue and phthalo is your coolest blue. Uh, greens are cool, reds are warm. When you have red in a color, like blue, even if it's just a little tinge, it's going to be on the warmer side than the heavy green that is in the phthalo blue. So that is why I say that ultramarine blue is warm and phthalo is cool. Now I've probably totally <laughs> confused you guys, but I just wanted to um, let you know that and um, if you're having confusion with blues, there are artists and scientists who debate this subject, which is very controversial, all the time. And they still don't have an answer for us because one says this, one says that. So if you feel that phthalo is warmer than ultramarine, fine. When you're mixing your colors, you're still going to have to watch because with phthalo, if you want to make a purple, it's a green shade. And if you're going to make a purple, you're not going to want to add red to your phthalo because you're going to get a gray purple. Like I showed you in the mixing yesterday when I did cadmium red and um, phthalo blue. If they're both warms, they shouldn't, they shouldn't fight each other. But since you've got green and the complementary color of red, then you end up with a fight in the colors. Um, that's another reason that I fall toward the ultramarine being warm because you can add red to it without any problem. You could add yellow to it without any problem also. So it's kind of neutral in the in the middle really, but but it does have a tinge of red in it. So um, even more neutral would be cobalt not warm, not cool. Um, so do with it what you will. I just wanted to share that with you. And um, if you have any problems with it, there are some good articles on it um, on online and that two different people who explain warm and cool. And it seems like they both agree that phthalo... No, the other person's talking about what different people say about either one. Um, but I can post these articles for you to confuse you more if you'd like. <laughs> um, otherwise, just play with your colors. See what comes up. You're going to find that you like certain mixes and you're going to be using them in your paintings. And your style, part of your style is the colors that you're using. And if you like a certain style, you're going to continue using those colors. 
Um, it's kind of our signature, how we use color. And the nice thing about it is you can do whatever the heck you want. If it gets you the color you need, then go for it, you know. Um, you do want to have color harmony in your in your paintings and not put too many colors into a painting. That's why small palettes are nice. Um, because if you're mixing colors, you're still staying with those same colors in the color family throughout your entire painting. Um, and that makes for a very cohesive uh, color harmony. So... Um, and I can talk about color harmony in another video, but I'm thinking of doing a painting video today. I haven't painted at all. I've been busy with window repair guys coming and all sorts of stuff. So um, I might do a little painting and post two videos, but I'm not sure. But I will post this one separately from a painting so they're not too long. But everybody have a great weekend. And remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.